Hello, Mark from My Keys to Music here. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we are talking about the Boss FS-6 Dual Foot Switch. This little guy enables you to move your programs up and down with your feet. And you can program it in a variety of ways. Uh, but essentially what most people want is on the left side, they'll want the program to go down when they push on it with their foot. And when they push on the right side, they want the program to go up. This works for programs. It works for songs where you can go up and down the song parts. It also works for live mode going up and down the one through five within the live mode options. It does not, however, switch song to song. For that, you'll still need a knob or some other mechanism. But that's really not important. Switching songs is easy because you usually are not playing when you're switching songs. But when you're switching programs, which happens uh, frequently during a performance in the middle of a song, then this gives you the option to do it hands-free. You can keep both hands on the keyboard while you switch up and down. Uh, perhaps most notably the song parts. Let's say you've got a song and it begins with a piano Rhodes in a synth pad, but then you need something else completely different and you actually need to take advantage of another program to do that. Switching up and down in the song will get that job done. So let's take a quick look at the product in detail. I'll show you the back configuration. I'll show you a lot of the options that you have with this pedal. And most importantly, I'll show you exactly how to set it up with your Nord Stage 3 so that you know exactly what's going on and you can determine for yourself if this pedal is for you. Please note that I've put an Amazon link down below in the description and you won't pay any extra, but it is an affiliate link, and I will get a small commission if you are buying through the US-based Amazon site and you decide to pick it up, uh, then I'll get a small commission. But in any case, I don't do that for this reason. I do that because many people ask, hey, how exactly do I set this pedal up and how is it configured? So that's what we're gonna do. So in order to get started, you need the right cable. So for this, you're going to need a quarter inch cable with a TRS configuration, that's tip, ring, sleeve. The tip, the ring, and the sleeve. Very much like what you'd see if you were plugging in stereo headphones. It's that sort of a connection point. It's a single cable, and you'll put one end into the back of the Nord Stage 3 in the program up-down jack, and then the other end will go right in the center of the boss pedal in the AB switch. So even though there's other ports there in the back of the pedal, the only one you'll need is the AB one right in the middle. And that is the sweet spot. That's what allows this particular foot switch to work perfectly for the Nord Stage 3. Now, if you find yourself with an electro keyboard and you don't have the program up and down option, then I've put a link here um, where you can check out another video where I offer a solution that is a foot switch that works with MIDI. And that particular solution will work with your Electro. In fact, it'll work with just about any keyboard that allows the five pin MIDI connection. In any case, that's the cable. Now let's take a look at the pedal. So the pedal actually is powered by a nine volt battery, which does in fact come included. It's one of those generic batteries, but it is a battery nonetheless. So you'll simply want to flip open the back cover like you normally would, and then put the battery in. Next, you want to look at the back of the pedal. We have options on either side for polarity and mode. For polarity, you want to flip the switch to the left. And for mode, you most likely want the momentary option, the FS-5U option. Then your cable will go directly into the center jack, the one labeled A and B. All right, and here it is, the Boss FS-6 dual foot switch. This gives you an idea of the size of it. You'll also want to note that you can interconnect this switch with another one just like it. So you could take another foot switch and lock them together and have two foot switches side by side. You might want to consider that because not only does this dual foot switch move your programs up and down, which you're about to see, but it can also be used, if you use the A and the B port here, or the jack in the back, you could actually use one side for sustain, for example, and another side for your rotor pedal, where you can switch between fast and slow, or push it and have it move between one or the other. So, wow, there's a lot of functionality with these foot switches, and if you've got two side by side, um, it's an, it offers an interesting option for you, considering that a sustain pedal in its traditional sense, if, if you could get your sustain pedal down to this size, which is you know no bigger than my index finger here, versus this, uh, this is a big difference. 
And if real estate for you in terms of pedal real estate down at your feet is at a premium, you might not want these big honking sustain pedals down there. You might want just this little guy. Just an idea, an option. I think I'm going to definitely explore that option as a sustain pedal. Now, keep in mind, depending on how big your feet are and, and how you are, you know, some people can only work with a sustain pedal like this. And going to something small like this would be a, a step in the wrong direction for some. But regardless of that, let's continue this uh, setup for programs up and down. So we have the polarity switch, as I mentioned, both on the left and then the mode switch both toggled on the left, which is the momentary option. Then we need our cable, which we don't, as keyboard players, you don't typically think of this cable as something that you'd have in your rig on a normal basis, but it is the tip ring sleeve type cable, quarter inch, both sides. If you use the link below, keep in mind to pay attention to the length. I think they sell them from three feet all the way up uh, to something north of 10 feet. This is a 10 footer here, which I think is a good length. Um, maybe five feet you could get away with too, depending on how your rig is set up. Um, so I'll take this one end of the cable and put it into the AB connection, like I explained earlier. And the other side will go into the program up down pedal. And that is it for connections. So long as the battery's connected, you'll see that the power goes on when I plug it in just like that. So there's one last thing to do. Go to the system settings. I'll hold the shift button system and then go and navigate to the 10th page, 10th page as of this operating system. You'll see this program pedal type system setting here. And there's really a couple of options. First, you have the type of pedal. It wants to know what type of pedal this is in terms of whether you want it closed or open. So I always select auto, which is closed which means that the moment I push down on it, it will, when closed, it will enact the action of moving the program up or down. So that's really what that means. Then the mode here, you have a couple options. You have normal and you have inverted. Let's start with normal and see what that looks like. This essentially is changing the polarity and this will determine whether you want A to go up or down or B to go up and down. In other words, it depends on how your brain works, whether you're going to set that to normal or inverted. I think based on my previous experience here, I, I believe this has told me that I have an inverted brain. But for now, I'll start with a normal option and we'll see where that goes. So I'm on A45 here. Um, if I push the A pedal down, and I'll hold it for a second just so you'll see. Push it down. You'll see that immediately it changes to A51. So in other words, A is moving my programs up up to 52 to 53 to a now we're going to be into the b's and up we go by pushing the a side b is the exact opposite b23 down to b22 down to b21 so if you were to go to the other option here under mode inverted it would be just the opposite now this time instead of this going up it goes down and now this goes up and that's the way my brain works, because when I think of things moving down, I think left side of the keyboard, down in the octave, on the left side. So my brain works down is on going to be A and B when I want to go up into the stratosphere. I want to move up a program into the numbers that increase in value. Uh, perhaps you have an inverted brain too. Now, originally I said you want to keep the polarity settings to the left. If you were to move both of these polarity settings to the right, then that would have an opposite effect of the settings you just saw on the Nord keyboard. In other words, you have to consider both the polarity switch settings here on the pedal along with the mode settings on the Nord keyboard together to give you a particular desired result. Now, in addition to moving programs up and down, this pedal also offers the option that when you're in song mode, once you pick your song, it can move up and down the song parts. So as I move up, it's moving up a part, up a part, up a part, till you get to five and you can't go any further. And then you can go back down through the song parts. Now, it doesn't switch from song to song. You would still use this knob here to do, go from song to song, but it will switch between the parts. The other thing it'll do is when you're in live mode, it also moves up and down the live mode settings, one through five, like so. In any case, that's how this works. Really straightforward. Now, let me show you a couple other options here with this pedal that you might not first suspect is even possible, but it actually is. This time, I'm going to leave the settings exactly the same, by the way. 
And I'm going to then take a traditional quarter inch cable, which is the tip sleeve cable type, and plug one end into the A pedal. And this time I will plug it into the sustain option here at the, at the back of my keyboard. And at this point, by the way, this would work with an electro because an electro has a sustain port in the back. So that would work just fine. All right, so here's A. Now what I would expect to have happen, let me just put the piano on here. And let me move the pedal up here onto this so I can have options to play it. Point. That's working as expected. Now my idea would be when I push the sustain pedal here or also known as A, we have a sustain pedal. All right, perfect. Now I can take another cable, again, a regular tip sleeve cable, and this time go to the B option here in the back, the B port. And this time I will connect this cable over here to the rotor pedal. And I will turn off the piano engine, turn on the organ engine, and I'll also make sure to turn on the actual rotor speaker here for organ and I'll keep it in non-stop modes. So right now it's slow stop. So the idea here behind this, you'll see that it flips this option. And so there's, my rotor speaker is on, but it isn't fast. Now watch this. Okay, now there's some options there for the rotor pedal. Here on page nine, you have the same option where you have open, closed, you have the half moon option, which we don't have that connected. So I'm just gonna do closed, which means when you push it down, it'll enact the function. And then you can have two options here, rotor hold or rotor toggle. Toggle means it's going to, you push it once, it'll flip either fast or slow, uh, whether you have it toggled or not. I personally like the momentary option, which is the hold. As I hold it, it will move from slow to fast. As I let go, the speaker will slow down. Push it, it'll speed up. Anyway, either option is available to you. I'll just quickly show you the other option, the toggle. Slow, now it's fast and I can let go of my foot. Push it again, it's gonna slow the speaker down. That's synonymous with a half moon switch as you move it from slow to fast. It's like a toggle, one or the other. This is like a toggle on or off, uh, one or the other rather, versus the hold. But I, I personally like the hold better. I think that's a little bit more control. But then again, in order, if you were playing a long passage where you had the fast speaker on for a length of time, it might get kind of annoying having to hold your foot there or perhaps even more difficult rather than just pushing it on and then playing to your heart's content. Anyway, those are some subtle options there. Lots of functionality here with this foot switch. I really like the, the, the whole concept of it. I like the look of it actually. Now, if you're brand new to the world of pedals as it relates to your Nord keyboard, have a look at my Nord Stage 3 Pedal Options Part 1 and Part 2 video series. This will take you on a really a beginner's journey uh, into the world of pedals and how they relate to your keyboard. We've explored here today the FS-6 foot switch. There is an FS-7 dual foot switch as well. If you want to see a review on that, I'll also put a link down below and above here now. Thanks for joining me. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>